Good morning. My name is Dr. Edwin Buffett. I'm a physician and also the Deputy Medical Supervisor for Health Towards Aid. Um, today I'm going to show you the X-ray unit in the prison. Actually, we in the main prison in Port-au-Prince, we, well, we have 3,600 inmates um, as the population for the prison. You can follow me. This is the X-ray room. And this is where we do screenings for the inmates with the X-ray machine. Um, usually, we had a doctor who used to interpret the results for us um, when they do the X-ray. Now, we having um, the QAI intelligence software that we install on the machine. This is the machine. This is a chest X-ray that we did for some patients. And of course, with the QAI installed on the machine, we will have the results within seconds. As you can see, uh, we've been using that software since 2021. And for this site, which is uh, the National Penitentiary, we have a total of 2,498 2, x-rays done. And if you zoom in, you're going to see um, 615 abnormal, but 271 were presumptive. In all those numbers, I can tell you with the gene expert test, 80% of the presumptive people were confirmed positive. So all these patients are on treatment and they're doing very well. This is such a powerful software where you can do massive screening in such environment because um, screening people for tuberculosis in prison is a very hard task. It really helps with the turnaround time to put people on TB treatment. With that being said, we can definitely say, yes, we can end TB.